Hi, my name is Doug Dooley, and on behalf of Data Theorem, I'm going to provide a Cloud Secure product launch and overview update. So, Cloud Secure is Data Theorem's newest product, uh, recently launched, and some of its capabilities include full stack application security, attack surface management, uh, CSPM compliance, and CSPM stands for Cloud Security Posture Management and defensive protections that will show up in some of our hacker toolkits, both offensive and defensive protection. So what is Data Theorem's innovation and differentiation uh, in this cloud security space? So first of all, on the innovation side, Full Stack Analyzer Engine delivers, um, it is the core engine that powers our web secure, mobile secure, API secure, and now cloud secure product. Uh, millions of dollars, of R&D and engineering time has gone into our analyzer engine and we're really proud of what it's doing to make cloud secure uh, unique. Specifically, um, what we can do from an attack uh, surface management perspective is now we are hacking the cloud. We've always provided that uh, with our hacker toolkits across web, mobile, and API, but now we're reaching down into the cloud layer, which is often the underpinning uh, of most modern applications. The differentiation really you can see in our CSPM approach. Most cloud security posture management uh, offerings, and now there's numerous, uh, really have kind of an infrastructure view of um, whether or not the cloud configurations are set up correctly or set up in a way that are uh, mostly secure. The piece that it's really missing is having that app level integration and understanding. You know, most cloud services or microservices ultimately are serving via API to some type of application above web, mobile, etc. Um, without that interconnection between the application level and what's going on with the violations that are happening at the CSPM level, you're sort of missing the full picture. And that's what we're really doing that's different uh, than what's seen before in other products. So really delivering security remediation and compliance monitoring from that cloud layer all the way to the application. Also, what, what makes Data Theorem unique is we're not asking the customer to make any network changes, to make no host virtual machine or container changes and not having to install any type of agent technology in order to make it work. Again, that sets us apart from many of the co competitors in this space. Now from the product portfolio perspective, you know, many customers have depended on Data Theorem for API, web, and mobile. And now bringing cloud to the mix really completes that full stack when you're trying to prevent against an AppSec data breach. So ultimately, why should the market care that Data Theorem has a cloud security product? Really, we, we believe we're one of the first to deliver an app-aware cloud security product that delivers that full stack AppSec protection and also attack surface management, which we'll get into here in a bit. So when you take a step back, what's happening around the world is businesses and organizations are getting breached. And the hacks appear to be getting worse, not better over time. Uh, so if we just monitor over the last 20 years, what's been going on, the number of records being stolen and also the fines being uh, levied down to companies when personal uh, sensitive information has been, has been compromised, uh, this has not been getting better, it's getting worse. And if you look at the latest uh, data breach investigation report in 2021, uh, you could look back and just tell for the past several years, hacking is still the number one way a data breach occurs for most organizations. Uh, social is a distance number two, but what's also interesting is this concept of errors, errors creating data breaches, and specifically the number one top category around errors is misconfiguration. We don't think this is an accident, we think this is going to be a trend for many years to come. And there's a reason why misconfiguration is now leading to data breaches, even down at the infrastructure cloud tier of an application. And so in the past, when an application developer would make a coding misconfiguration or mistake, it would often just impact the mobile app, the web app, and the APIs that those applications um, would have embedded in them. But now what's starting to occur is um, the cloud services that are the underpinnings of all of these applications are also receiving those same misconfigurations which are leading to breaches.
And why is that? And it's, it's really because there is an explosion of applications happening in the cloud and the security tools and the security processes have not caught up yet. And so what we're gonna see over the next few years is this explosion of businesses building applications in the cloud and having to retool their security uh, processes and, and setup in order to keep up. And really, if you're a cloud security vendor or an application security vendor, the future is merging right into this full stack approach. And really, there are no security vendors who have delivered that app centric full stack security solution for cloud native applications. Uh, and this is why Data Theorem feels excited about our contribution here with Cloud Secure. So this is a common misconception or myth that cloud is just a different type of network and infrastructure. And so if you think about traditional uh, network and infrastructure, this might be a diagram you consider. And the, and the technologies that were used heavily in that generation were using agents like antivirus agents or endpoint defense agents that you would install on Windows and Linux operating systems or gateways, things that you would stick uh, in line at egress or ingress points of the network. This has created many multi-billion dollar vendor companies to to have this technology approach. But the problem is, unless you're Google, uh, Microsoft, or Amazon, the cloud is not just network and infrastructure. For most businesses, a cloud really looks like code and microservices. Um, and so as a result, when you're trying to solve a security problem around code and microservices, using agents and gateways are often the wrong type of tool to be effective. And so our point of view is that there needs to be more employment of analyzers and toolkits, both offensive and defensive, to protect um, the cloud security components around APIs and applications. So ultimately, cloud security comes down to three major needs. You can almost distill every use case that's happening right now around cloud security around these three major needs. Number one, guardrails, right? Guardrails against common misconfigurations that can occur from either the DevOps cycle that's happening very quickly or it can be coming directly from developers themselves. Uh, secondly is this continuous uh, identification or remediation of cloud vulnerabilities. And third is the auditing and reporting uh, against compliance and risk. So when you look at our cloud secure dashboard, you can see that there is a high level understanding of what's going on in the environment um, and ha has this environment map. And so when you take a step back and look at attack surface management, ultimately the attack surface management that we're providing really comes back to that analyzer engine. Our analyzer engine is, sits at the heart of it. And what you're seeing here in gray, blue, and orange on the sort of left-hand side of this diagram is really a lot of the black box reverse engineering capabilities we can do. We can take mobile apps directly off of the app store. We can take the web applications directly available on the internet. And then we can of course just look at varieties of public internet uh, resources like a customer might um, have a merger or an acquisition of another organization and we take all of those domains and we look at those domains and DNS records and then we take those DNS records and also look at it, uh, CT logs or certificate transparency log for other subdomains of registered uh, uh, subdomains that are associated with the account. We use all of this to do forensics analysis and profiling of how your attack surface might look to an external attacker. And then if you look on the side of the sort of right hand side of the graphic, we have sort of the gray box uh, analysis to complement the black box, and black box analysis, which is you can onboard through read only based role access, where we can have lots of cloud integrations, integrations with your build systems like Jenkins, uh, and then of course integrations with variety of enterprise API gateways. And from all of these different sources, we have a much greater sense of what your attack surface looks like. And an example is we often become the system of record of every new mobile application you have in your environment, every web application uh, you have in your environment, every type of API, whether it be GraphQL or REST in your environment, all the different API gateways you might have in your environment, and of course, all the different cloud resources. And when you put that all together, you get a cohesive, 
comprehensive view of your attack surface of what it looks like to um, to an adversary on the internet and from there you have a much better sense of what you're really trying to secure and where your exposures might be and again this all comes back to data theorems analyzer engine all four of our products including cloud secure are powered by this engine um, we give you attack toolkits or hacker toolkits across all four areas, particularly these new ones around cloud. And then we give you techniques on how to auto remediate and protect yourself defensively from these types of attacks. So ultimately the benefit for customers around cloud secure is automation, speed, and data protection. If you can have custom, make fewer misconfigurations with less staff, stay in more compliance, spend less time on auditing, and do more to prevent and protect yourself from AppSec data breaches, this is a very compelling offering for customers in the cloud. Thank you.